Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by Aileen Gaby right now from the Maryland SPCA, and this is Trino, and this is a lot of dog. Yes, very playful to say the least. At, at, he's a little bit mouthy. Uh, he is just a puppy. He's eight months old, so he still has a little growing to do, a little maturing to do. All right, this is sort of like uh, Werewolves of London or something. Do we know what kind of dog Trino is? I would guess a, a terrier mix. We took him in from the city shelter. He looks a little like Chewbacca, actually. <laughs> Very cute. cute. Look. Very cute. All right, tell us a little bit about him. Eight months old. He yes. appears to be big for eight months old. Do you guys have any idea how much how much larger he'll get? He might grow a little bit more, I think. Um, but he's a nice size where you can pick him up if you need to. Pretty easy to cart around. All right, you can tell our viewers right now you were holding on to him with dear life, aren't you? <laughs> He just, he, he likes to be active. He's made a lot of friends in the studio today, that's for sure. All right. Now, talking to us a little about our dogs and a lot of different things we can do with our pets these days. Recently here on Good Morning Maryland and ABC2, we had the story of Dempsey, the dog from Maryland who was lost up in Maine. And you have a great idea to help people who may lose their pets. That was quite a story that you aired on ABC2 News. The dog was lost in Maine from the family in Maryland, but they were reunited. Um, a microchip is really a good idea. It's good insurance if your pet gets lost. We have scanners at the Maryland SPCA. Other shelters have them, vets have them. So you have a little chip that's embedded in between the shoulder blades. Okay. It has all their identification information. So we would scan the shoulders when a lost pet comes in to hopefully find the owner. Cost of doing something like this, does it vary vet to vet or is there sort of a set price? It does, it ranges. We provide the service at the Maryland SPCA. Some vets charge $20, $30 for it, but you really also can't beat your good old traditional collar and tag because then you have the information right away and doesn't need to be scanned at all. Real quickly though, if someone does want to go the, uh, the chip route, does it hurt the animal at all? You know, it's uh, put in with a needle. Okay. Uh, it really doesn't hurt. We've seen the procedure done before. Our vets are qualified. It's fine, and it's good safety. All right, Aileen, last week we had Benny on with us. Tell us how his story ended up. Benny, cute little white dog, did get adopted. We have a picture there on the screen, the new family. Very happy dog, very happy family. All right, we're hoping the exact same turnout can come for Trino. If you're interested in this little dog, 410-235-8826. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that. Well, he's kind of camera shy. There you now. go. <laughs> Aileen Gaby with the Maryland SPCA. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. There you go.